welcome back to the channel. So this is the vlog for the 2019 Louisville Goldfish and Koi Show. Uh, here's some footage of the goldfish that were entered. This fish in particular had a dropsy and septicemia. Uh, these two Ryukins were healthy. Uh, one of them ended up winning and you guys will see the champions and all that later. I'll go back through and show you guys. And these two are mine. So I brought Zara and Dixon. They're four month old Randas. And they were trying to breed the entire time that they were here. So that was kind of funny. Really wasn't expecting them to do that, but they did. Uh, this is an Aranda that was there. A really pretty Aranda, if I do say so myself. And here is a uh, um, two Ryukins and a butterfly telescope. Uh, these two in particular are Josh McWilliams fish, I believe. Uh, those are the only two that I know were his. <laughs> um, and then uh, this one, I'm not really sure who it belonged to. Uh, same with these two, I'm not really sure. So, um, I think these two may have been Josh's as well. And then these two I know were Gary haters, to my knowledge. So, um, there really weren't a whole lot of goldfish in the show. These two were added at the last minute. Um, literally after judging had occurred. <laughs> uh, somebody walked over to the vendors, bought them, and then plopped them in the tank, and she came back and judged them, which I don't think is fair, but... Uh, I am not on the board, so I don't really have a say. Um, there really were not a whole lot of variety in the show. Um, mostly Arandas and Ryukins, and I think there was like a Lion Shoe, or a Lion Head, and then uh, maybe one Lion Shoe, I think, in the whole show. So, there really is not a lot. Um, that one was added at the last minute as well. That was the reserve baby champion. So that was the one of the Ryukins that I showed you a while ago. Um, it won reserve baby champion. And then reserve grand champion, I believe, was the Ryukin there. Um, not 100% sure. It could have been the butterfly, but not sure on that. Uh, the grand champion was that Aranda there, and as I said, it was bought there and put in a tank. Baby champion was one of those Arandas, which I'm not sure which one it was. And then these are almost all the koi that were at the show. So this particular show was basically all koi. And... I felt like, to me, the goldfish keepers were kind of um, off to their self and they weren't really acknowledged very much. And everything was about Koi and if they saw you with the goldfish, they'd be like, oh, you're a goldfish keeper. Like, that's very low on the totem pole there and that kind of bothered me because yes a lot of these fish are worth thousands of dollars but goldfish can be worth a lot of money too and it doesn't mean they're any less loved um which really bothered me throughout the show that was one thing that kind of bugged me also the judge that did the goldfish she was also a koi judge and she spent hours and hours and hours doing koi and she spent maybe 15 minutes on the goldfish and she was done she also benched the goldfish which to my knowledge you're not supposed to do the judge is never supposed to bench the fish it's supposed to be someone else 
Um, it's supposed to be like a benching committee and that did not happen this year. She also benched several fish incorrectly. Um, she benched my fish as a Ryukin that I had to go and have fixed, which is really hard because you're not supposed to let the judge know whose fish is who. So I kind of had to go to the president and tell him that my fish had been benched incorrectly. And then he had to go and um, have someone like reprint their sheets and then tell the judge that that was incorrect. And yeah, so she also benched um, a pond fish. Um, and I'm not sure, I can't remember what it was exactly. Um, Hibana or something like that as a Ryukin, which is very obviously not. Um, but there was just some things like that that made me curious if she really knew what she was doing. Um, and I don't know, that's just my cup of tea there, a little rant. Um, overall, I enjoyed the show. I picked some things up for the fish room, um, and we, my parents and I, made a little trip out of it. We did a little shopping while we were in Mobile, and um, the fish did really well. I don't really know if my fish won anything in particular because I didn't stick around for the banquet because it was like $35 a person, so I'm not really sure yet. So next year, I'm not really sure if I'm gonna go back to this, I might. Um, but I really want to go to the Ohio Goldfish Show because it is put on by the Goldfish Council. And I feel like, to me, that would be more of a fair show because they're the Goldfish Council and I think they kind of know what they're doing. Um, but I think I would like to go to that because I think it's a lot more goldfish driven and I'm sure, I believe, anyway, that there is still koi there, but I think it will be a little bit more fun for me. And I'd like to go next year. I think this year it's held in uh, June, I believe, like June 7th or something like that. But um, unfortunately, I'm not able to go to that this year as I have other plans. But maybe next year I'll be able to go. And uh, the the koi, I didn't get shots of like who won and things like that because they were still judging when I left. So I don't really know who won what or anything like that. Um, these were some koi that were for sale and some goldfish back there. Um, the goldfish, they're really weren't a whole lot of goldfish mostly koi um this was one of the uh sets i bought one of those um aranda figurines for the fish room uh this was another vendor um and then more koi so these koi uh actually were the ones that were Anywhere from like $300 to $800 a piece. So they were more of the high-end fish that were there that I saw. And so that kind of wraps up the vlog. And I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I know a lot of people wanted to see it. And I'll see y'all next time.